in the Eastern Conference Finals, which should be a cakewalk. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. A cakewalk of a series for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, I'd say probably Boston wins at max one game. Like, I, And I, don't, I can't even see them winning one game. I can't even see them winning one game. And I heard some people say maybe two games. Why? They don't have the personnel the first to even match up. It's a bad matchup. You know how they always talk about styles make the fight in boxing. Like, if you look at the matchup, first of all, let me say this. And, and, and we do have a couple of Boston fans. We got a black Boston fan to listen to the show. My man, Chuck Town Frank, which is crazy. Oh, Ziffendale, Moscato drinking, Boston Celtics loving, Mosquito Beach swimming, Frank from Charleston. <laughs> but it's amazing, first of all, that the Boston Celtics made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Let's look back. Let's go back to the first series against the Chicago Bulls. Shouldn't have even won that series. And I know they were the number one seed this year in the Eastern Conference, but that's not saying a lot. Um, shouldn't have got past the Boston or the uh, Chicago Bulls. Uh, if they had Rajon Rondo, I think most of y'all would agree that they would not have won that series down two games to none. So somehow they find a way to come back and win, and they advance to this round, man, and they take on the Washington Wizards. And the Wizards, man, I think the big thing for the Wizards and why they went down in this series is the loss of Nene um, to give that, that defensive present down in the paint. Uh, that you're used to getting from that dude, man, who's been a solid player his entire career in the NBA, even when he played um, uh, for the Houston Rockets and teams like that in the past. Nene's always been a solid defensive guy, so that really hurt them, man. And Boston played a fantastic series, had a big run at the end of the third quarter, beginning of the fourth period last night, and the rest is history. But this team is not a team that I can even imagine would advance to the to the NBA Finals this year. They're young. They're inexperienced uh, as far as getting to this point in the season. Um, they don't have a lot of depth. And they're going, you know, they're playing against LeBron James, who right now is playing the greatest basketball in the game today. I mean, probably, like my Uncle Donnie said in the interview that I did with him a couple weeks ago on Chop It Up, uh, LeBron James is the best basketball player in the world, bar none, Doug. And that's a fact. I mean, just too much experience, too many pieces that can score. You talk about him and Kyrie Irving. Uh, too good a coaching from Teron Liu. Uh They even brought in some players, man. They brought in some players to shore up. What they were missing, man, as far as as uh, wing players and players that can shoot for them and Kyle Corver that can go out and, and hit a spot up three-pointer, man. So it's going to be very, very tough. And listen, I'm a Laker fan. I say it all the time. I'm a Laker fan. I, I root against everything to do with the Boston Celtics. I do. And I'm happy to say today that there's no chance in hell that the Celtics advance to the NBA Finals. None in the chance of hell in the world. <laughs> yeah, but they do get it done against the Wizards, and the Wizards are just young. Uh, I like the step forward from John Wall. Bradley Beal had a big game last night. Once again, we'll talk about all of that coming up here in the next segment. We're uh, they, they just they, – they really – they lost a couple of games that they should have won. Uh, the first couple of games, they were up big in some of those games, man, and just, you know, could not hang on, uh, could not find a way to stop consistently. Isaiah Thomas did a couple of games, but consistently couldn't find a way to stop that guy from getting to the basket or hitting big three-point shots. So uh, the Celtics advanced to take on the Cleveland Cavaliers. So we do have both finals in the Eastern and Western Conference. Right now, you have game two tonight between the Golden State Warriors and the San Antonio Spurs. And then uh, also getting started here very soon is the Cleveland Cavaliers taking on the Boston Celtics. What are your thoughts about the game last night? 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Kelly Olenek last night for the Boston Celtics has his best game in the postseason ever going for 26 points, I believe it was, man. And the guy was on fire. 
at one point in that game, man, he hit like three three pointers in a row. And I'm saying to myself, that's freaking Kelly Olenek. Yeah. That's that's Kelly Olynyk. You can't let, you can't let Kelly Olynyk beat you, and that's exactly what happened last night with the Boston Celtics and the Washington Wizards. They let Kelly Olynyk beat them. Kelly Olynyk played 28 minutes, 26 points. Here's the thing: very efficient, 10 for 14 from the field. Uh, he only hit two three pointers out of six, but also had some long shots as well, some long uh, two pointers as well uh, that were big. It seems like that the times that he hit his shots were so crucial in changing the momentum, whereas the uh, Wizards, man, really played good, uh, were in this thing. I started saying to myself at halftime, like, damn, the Wizards are going to make a, a game into this. The Wizards are going to fight till the very end, unlike the Houston Rockets did a couple of nights ago when they just laid down against the Golden State Warriors. And then uh, one of those NBA patented NBA runs happened, which we'll talk about here in a second as well, more in detail. But that's what happens in the NBA. These teams go on runs. And it's almost like you're just hoping that you're the team that had the last run. Or if your run, in the case of the other night with the Golden State Warriors and the San Antonio Spurs, is so big, you know that your opponent is going to make a run. Can you just hold on? And last night, man, a game of runs. And uh, the last run of the night went to the freaking Boston stinking-ass Celtics. Here he is, old Ziffendale, drinking Moscato, sipping Chucktown Frank Jam. And this is in the chat room on Spreaker.com. In Celtic history, there have been a lot of broken dreams for the opposing teams. Somehow, I see this fate in your future. Man, shut up, Chucktown Frank. Ain't nobody studying no damn Boston Celtics and Upsetting the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let me take a call. This is uncustomary for us, but let me take a call in the first segment. Thank you for calling the Doug Stewart Show. What's your name? Where you calling from? What you want to talk about? Hey, this is Gregor. I want to talk about the Celtics. <sighs> um, so not only do we have Ziffendale, Moscato drinking, Mosquito Beach swimming, Chucktown Frank, that's a fan of the Boston Celtics, but Grego is a fan of all Boston sports as well. Grego, what do you want? Did you see how Kelly O'Clinic put on that clinic last night? You know, your Rivers uh, cousin is bringing good fortune to the city of Boston. Uh, and I think that's really where it's coming from. Like your brother used to say back in the day, it seems like you're a team of density with um, this, what happened to Isaiah Thomas. Wait, repeat that one and, more time? Uh, repeat that one more time? Like they're a team of density? Brother used to say back in the day? A team of density? Yeah. Hey, Grego, 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 Grego. Before I put hot radio lead in your ass, I, I need to go back to the origin of this love uh, right. of Boston sports. Are you from that right. area or what? Bo- yeah, born. And my dad is still up there. He's in Quincy. So that's where it came from. In Massachusetts? Yeah, Quincy, Massachusetts. Quincy, Massachusetts. You're not from Roxbury where all the other black people from? <laughs> Oh, oh, I would never be from there. Say but what? Before, no, 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 not at all. And then I have another quick, uh, quick moment before you. Wait a minute, Gregor, you, you're not from Roxbury? I thought all the black people in Massachusetts were from Roxbury, where New Edition from. Honestly, I was born in Brockton, but then my dad got a little money and moved to Quincy. So, <laughs> so, 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 so the two cities for the black people are Brockton. Massachusetts, as well as Roxbury. You are from Brockton, but your old, right. your old man got you all the hell up out of there real quick. Yeah, yeah. That's the uh, Korean and black side of me. Uh, I put a little business in the hood, and um, it got us up out of there. So. But You put a little I'm business trying. up in the hood? Hey, wait a minute. Wait. Grego, 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 wait a minute. Please don't tell me that your old man owns like a convenience store or liquor store up in Roxbury, man. Please don't he, tell me that. He, start, he started out doing that, but um, he, he's got some better businesses now. So, but yeah, that was the plan. <laughs> Grego, go, <laughs> go ahead. Before I let you go, man. Before I put out radio land, your ass, man. Well, you were gonna say one last thing. Go ahead and say it, man. You know, last week, and I'll be calling in again uh, tomorrow for um, 
trivia a what's the answer Wednesday right. sponsored by women's yeah Wednesday. you're listening but, to the um, Doug Stewart show go ahead go ahead I can't believe that you would think that I would wear some shady limited you do you know that those clothes are for the blacks and I do not wear clothes that are specifically for women <laughs> Turn your ass around, Grego. If you're new to the show, it kind of goes back to a conversation we had uh, last week. Uh, It wasn't actually a conversation. We asked trivia on Wednesday. And Grego's trivia question, for a little bit more background on Grego, he's part black and part Korean. Do with that what you will. And uh, so one of the trivia questions was, what was the name of Eminem's clothing line and Grego just said that he doesn't wear a clothes made specifically for one group of people what that has to do with anything I don't know what that has to do with anything uh, I'm not sure but Grego as customary turn your ass around (laughs) golly Daddy on a damn liquor store in the hood, huh, Grego? Yeah. So that scene played itself over and over and over again in your youth. Young brother walk in the store, try to buy a bottle of beer, and he walks out, and your daddy didn't want to give nobody their change back, huh? Hey, get my homeboy's change back. Hurry up. I don't want any trouble. Just get out. Hurry up and buy. <laughs> the old man probably had a shotgun under the damn counter too, didn't he? Didn't he, Grego? <laughs> How the hell? How the hell? All right, man. we get back... Uh, from the break. Let's jump into this game from last night. Get some of your reaction, your thoughts to it in the chat room on Spreaker.com. You can also call the show just like Grego did at 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Short Show.com. Your thoughts about last night and what's the percentage chance you give the Celtics in this series against the Cavs? Uh, what? 2%? 5%? How about 0%? Back in three minutes, the Doug Stewart Show. I'll talk 